<laughs> oh man, Rick's making another one of these videos. Ugh. You, you know it's bad because there's no music. That's that's how you know this one's going to be no fun. <laughs> that's how you know you're in for a bunch of real talk on a comedy channel. So uh, lace up for a stroll down Jolly Town Road, everybody. We got a big, serious fork in the road to take today. And uh, I want to say up front, this isn't just a video for our Patreon patrons, uh, subscribers. This is absolutely your business, too. Uh, so please stick around for this. We need you. Um... And you know, actually, let's get some music going. I can't stand it. It's like, it's like standing in line at the freaking post office in here. You know, it's always. Why is it always like that? Why is it always like a morgue in the post office? You know, it's like, am I, am I sending a letter to Grandpa or am I picking out a coffin for Grandpa? You know. All right, enough of my shitty stand up. Boom, music. Really though, thanks to how awesome you guys made the last live stream, this video isn't going to be nearly as bleak as it would have been. <laughs> now, now instead of being like the road bleak, it's just gonna be like the Walking Dead bleak. <laughs> that, that doesn't really sound like a big improvement, does it? Also, one more thing before we get into the thick of it. Um, I know some of you have known this is coming for a while now and may already know all the details. So you can click in the upper right hand corner at any time to take the survey and let us know if this changeover changes things for you. Uh, you know, if you're in or you're out. Just be sure you're careful when you take the survey. Uh, if you're a Patreon patron, you need to select four patrons. If you're not a Patreon patron and you're a subscriber, you need to select one of the options for subscribers. So it's real important that we kind of keep you guys, uh, your input separate on this survey. So um, we've got some big changes creeping in on the horizon, uh, but right up front to keep you all from getting too spooked, Robot Co-op will continue in its live streaming form. You know, we were so blown away by the support during the last live stream, um, which you can watch here. Um, we've we've got a whole room now dedicated to live streaming here at Agony Wolf Media, and we're going to start live streaming regularly, which means you'll see us getting to games 100% faster. We'll be able to get to more games, way more games, uh, and you'll be riffing them right along with us. So uh, Twitch, Twitch still seems like a place where you can grow a little and new people can actually find you a little so uh, we're not throwing in the towel on that anytime soon in fact uh, it's probably going to be the thing that allows the uh, ICWXP slash robot co-op characters to survive this um, so big old buff thank yous there um, okay so <laughs> that's your little nugget of happy let's, let's get into the really grim stuff yay uh, so yeah this whole pouring weeks of round-the-clock work into making tightly scripted Let's Plays that get outrageously, devastatingly low views... That's gotta stop. Um, uh, we, we, we get fewer views than... We, we get the same amount of views I would expect from, like, Grandma makes a macaroni sculpture in real time. <laughs> you know, it's like, actually, no, that would probably get way more views than a typical episode of Robot Co-op. That's, uh, yeah. The truth hurts. <clears throat> Grandma, why are you making macaroni sculptures? Grandpa is dead. I'm at the post office picking out a coffin. Unless you want to make a macaroni coffin, get your ass down here. Don't talk to your grandma like this. Here's the thing, um, <laughs> scripted robot co-op, as in not live, um, those episodes completely cock block us from doing two very important things. Uh, they completely cock block us from getting the final ICW XP DVD out, and they completely cock block us from getting our new show, Grey Colored Glasses, off the ground. Um, we have not been able to work on ICW XP 206 since uh, 205 came out. And we get maybe two days a month to work on gray colored glasses. <laughs> it's killing Agony Wolf Media and it's killing me. This is a tired, dusty meme, but it's time to stop. Now, I know there's a lot to unzip there or a lot to unraw if you prefer. Uh, but before we get into uh, that, here's another fun little zip file. Stress underscore headache dot zip. Because we're a per creation Patreon account instead of a monthly account, it means every month we have to create this big extravagant video. Um, we specifically charge patrons to get paid for, which is almost always a 30 minute scripted let's play that I personally pour a ton of writing work into. And 
then our patrons get charged on the first of the following month, and that money is the lifeblood that keeps Agony Wolf Media going. Uh, your Patreon support is why we have this awesome studio. Um, the house the studio is in, the food in our cupboards, everything. I mean, I owe my life to our Patreon patrons. I really do. A month might seem like a really long time to make a video, right? Um, well, we're, we're a bunch of stanky old farts now. <laughs> there's, there's actually only one of us still in their 20s. Every year we get more and more adulting piled on our heads and, uh, you know, our schedules don't always line up anymore, man. And um, generally, there's only two days a month we have to get together and record. And in some months, it has come down to the wire. Um, I mean, we're, we've almost not made it a couple of times. You know, we're talking posting hours before the deadline. You know, if, if you see us posting our big Patreon video on the last day of the month, you know some shit went down. You know? um, so if we can't make a video in time, uh, we feel is worthy of your Patreon cheddar. Uh, we can't pay the rent, can't pay the bills, we can't keep the lights on, and we have a massive disaster. Well... For years, we've always managed to make it work, but this month, uh, someone is just simply not available, and we can't make the big Mountain Dew knockoff taste test this month, at least in a way that does it justice or in a way that you guys deserve for giving us your hard-earned shekels every month and for all of you taking the time to ship us all those cans of icky pooey counterfeit Mountain Dew. Uh, so we're asking you, will you stay with us on Patreon if we become a monthly account instead of a per creation account. Now you're probably asking yourself what the hell any of that means. Well, um, I'm gonna TLDR this for you up front and you can watch the rest of the video uh, if you want all the down and dirty details. Uh, so get this, nothing really changes on your end if we do this. Um, you still get charged on the first of the month as always. What changes is on our end. Um, what changes is we don't have that giant ticking doomsday clock looming over our heads every month uh, when it comes to getting a video up before the end of the month. Um, if, if we have to wait another week because of a scheduling conflict to get something online, it doesn't matter. You know, we still get paid on the first. The pressure's off. Basically, we're asking you to let us have a salary instead of a per video wage. But what is going to change, and this is the part you really have to bear in mind, Instead of making these monthly scripted Let's Plays, instead of having the stress and the distraction of making scripted robot co-op, if we go monthly, we're going to shift focus to finishing the last ICWXP and getting our new non-riffing original sci-fi show, Grey Colored Glasses, off the ground. So that's the bitter pill we all have to swallow. That's, that's the bullet we have to all bite. Uh, you know, scripted robot co-op comes to an end. Until January when we come out of retirement to do the Resident Evil 2 remake. Shh. But like I said, Robot Co-op lives on in its live streaming format on its respective YouTube channel and its Twitch uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, I really hope that softens the blow of all this. Uh, and on this channel, on the old Agony Wolf Media channel, uh, we're, we're going to get way more interactive with you and, and keeping you up to date on the last ICWXP and Grey Colored Glasses. You know, uh... I always, I always thought we needed to offer up a big high production video every month to incentivize and you know reward patrons up front with something uh, immediately tangible, something with their name in the credits. And we're, we're actually going to start including Patreon credits at the end of live streams, so that reward isn't going any, anywhere, so don't worry about that. We're kind of just asking you to think about the future, you know, w what's better? Uh, you know, another few years of robot riffing and then absolutely nothing or something that has the potential to land on Netflix or who knows. And, and, and all the doors that that could unlock, you know, maybe that's selfish, but I mean, I love riffing. I would love to just sit here and jibber jabber over games and movies until we're old men. But we have to finally actually move on like we've been saying we need to for a couple of years now. Uh, if we're going to keep our heads above water, guys. So if this goes into effect, you're you're still only getting charged on the first of the month. You're, you're not getting scripted robot co-op anymore, but you're still getting live robot co-op a couple times a month. And the bulk of the content we're putting out now lives here on this channel 
and its updates about ICW XP 206 and gray colored glasses. Uh, and, you know, and we'll, we'll live stream while we work on those two projects. Um, and we'll do as many updates as we can. Any behind the scenes stuff I think you guys will dig, I will share with you. Now, if you're a patron that's down with that, if you get that it's time to move on and make something totally our own so we can have a shot at a wider audience, so we can have a shot at survival, uh, let us know it's a yes for you. Um, if you're a patron that's not down with that, maybe because you found us via our scripted series and maybe you don't dig live streams and you're just here for those tightly scripted Let's Plays, let us know that too. Uh, we we need to hear from as many of you as we possibly can. That's that's the truly scary thing here, guys. Um, only a few of you respond to this, and we don't get a real sense of uh, how most of you feel. Uh, that's that's the worst case scenario. We also need to hear from non-patron subscribers. You guys absolutely count two in this decision. Uh, so there's four options on the poll: two for patrons, in and out and two for subscribers, in or out. Um, now, now, please make sure if you're not a patron to choose one of the subscriber options. What you have to think about there is if you're, you're still gonna tune in uh, over on Robot Co-op, if it's, if it's only done live now, and if you're gonna tune in here to watch us work on the final ICW XP in gray colored glasses. That's the question. Uh, whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of no more scripted Robot Co-op. Now, uh, I'll back up. And I'll lay all this out for you in more gory detail for the hardcore coggers that want it. Uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna unzip why we've actually wanted to do this for a long time now. And uh, to do that, I need to spoil some magic and tell you how we make Robot Co-op. Basically, I go through and capture game footage by myself. Um, I record a scratch commentary track while I play, uh, and, and then I go in and I write a really thought out, tightly scripted riff track based off that. Uh, this usually takes me a week because, you know, we, we hold ourselves to a very high standard when it comes to commentary here. It's it's always been, you know, this needs to be the right amount of clever. This needs to be the right amount of silly. It needs to touch on technical points. It needs to touch on character traits. Uh, it needs to sound like it could have been one of the best episodes of MST through KO Rift Tracks. And, and I, I write and record every little word of it by myself and it's, it's pretty mentally exhausting. Um, but, you know, I, I love it, so I do it. Um, so anyway, I, I spend a week writing, editing, recording as I go through the footage, and I voice Rick, of course, and I also voice Topsy or, or any other characters in the episode too. So there's this really awkward stage where it sounds like there's two or more Ricks all jibber-jabbering at each other. Do you realize what you've done? The Raspberry Pi is stuck on random. We'll never get that again. I'm never gonna find out what the secret of mana is. Never. The secret of mana is you wasted your childhood. Oh, you shut your whore mouth, robot. I'm not gonna let you waste your adulthood. You're welcome. Okay, team, that was embarrassing. We are getting creamed out there. Last installment scored the lowest views we have ever gotten for a Patreon video. Damn. Uh, then Nick or Jason, or, or both, come in and they replace those temp tracks. I'm never gonna find out what the secret of mana is. Never. The secret of mana is you wasted your childhood. Oh, you shut your whore mouth, robot. I'm not gonna let you waste your adulthood, you're welcome. Okay, team, that was embarrassing. We are getting creamed out there. Last installment scored the lowest views we have ever gotten for a Patreon video. Damn. And I throw in anything that they may have off the cuff that cracks us up while we're going through it all, and if I can make it work and squeeze it in there. Um, then I take the isolated audio of Topsy or Flux, and I run it through the, thank God, automated mouth mechanisms they both have now, and I puppet them for their face cam. So when you see me sitting next to Topsy throughout Robot Co-op episodes, it's Nick's voice, but it's actually me wiggling him around and making his eyes and hands move if, if you know, we're doing flux. Topsy's hands don't work yet. Uh, so after I've filmed the, the puppet's face cams, I go and I film mine. <laughs> and at that point, I have to go and transcribe everything I've recorded for myself so I can have a script off to the side in front of me. Uh, then I go through and I redo all my lines again on camera. Hey, baby, let me holler at you. Let me holler at you. Let me show you my street sharks. <laughs> I've got something here with such fantastic detail, it's going to blow you away. Hand shark! Hey, baby, let me holler at you. Let me holler at you. Let me show you my street sharks. <laughs> I've got something here with such fantastic detail, it's going to blow you away. Hand shark! <sighs> 
So that whole process adds about another week to production. <laughs> this all sounds so insane when I when I when I say it out loud. Uh, then then there's a bunch of blue and green screen work and color correction and audio cleaning that has to be done. You know, I gotta go hunt down clips, or, uh, sound effects, whatever else is left to, to finish up the episode. Um, then I have to watch it over and over again until I lose all objectivity and end up never wanting to see it again, trying to catch any mistakes. And as I'm sure you've noticed, plenty still get through. <clears throat> so weeks go by while I'm working to get the big Patreon episode up and it's insanely stressful because I have to keep running the business side of things. I have to keep running the social media. My emails get crazy clogged and backed up on me. I have to go. I still have to go pack up uh, and mail DVD orders. I have to go do household chores, take care of our elderly dog and her delightfully goofy tongue. What do you think about all this, Juno? I know it makes me sleepy, too. Why don't you knock off for the day, okay? Uh, I have to try to remind my girlfriend I care more about her than I do my silly f***ing puppet show. You know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, uh, life shit. And real quick, being a human being becomes really hard, you know? Uh, no joke, if I get an hour to concentrate on writing, it's a miracle. I, I very quickly have to cut out exercise to, to meet our deadlines. I start eating trash food to save time. I don't go to bed till three or four in the morning. And I basically have to neglect all my friends and my family and lock myself in the studio here to get it done. This is also the commentary is, is up to that gold standard. <laughs> Bear in mind, this is the thing. I, I don't think any other Let's Play channel does, you know, scripting. In, in fact, I'm pretty sure we look completely insane and disingenuous and, and frankly stupid <laughs> to them for doing it. But, you know, we, we come from the world of MST3K and riff tracks, and that's just how you do shit. You get it tight so it's not just whatever, and you have long pauses, and 20 minutes goes by where no one says anything funny. I hate that. <laughs> So anyway, we get an episode done, and we're really proud of it. We worked really hard on it. It goes online, and if we're lucky, it gets a thousand views. A thousand views equals out to somewhere between seven to ten dollars for you, depending on the ads that you know YouTube decides to run on your video. So that's weeks of tedious work, uh, weeks of not going to bed until three or four a.m. or not going to bed at all, um, and. You get maybe 10 bucks for all that work. It's like, it's like shit, at least take a dude to dinner first, you know? <laughs> um, of course, we're very fortunate and we have our Patreon patrons who come in and say, hey, that's messed up. That's really messed up. Here's enough to keep going for another month. Here's enough to keep the lights on for 30 more days, you know? Um, and holy shit, what a gift that is. I hope all of you know, whether you're pledging 100 bucks, 10 bucks, or one bucks you're all a miracle to us seriously you are seriously thank you and i i really don't have a damn thing to complain about uh in the here and now outside of you know the sting of those views i, I don't have to sleep on the set of the show anymore yeah that was a thing um we're not crammed into a tiny ass apartment in a garbage neighborhood where we hear gunshots at night and people use our van to hide behind in the parking lot to sell drugs. That was also a thing. Uh, we have a wonderful house now, and uh, you know we're safe in the suburbs. We have this studio. We have a new streaming studio upstairs. You know, you guys take damn good care of us. You know, it, it it'd be really easy to just you know be content in the here and now and kind of bury our heads in the sand and ignore all these red flags, but. I, I could tell there's a storm coming, man, and I, I want to batten down the hatches before it bites us in the ass. Um, so as awesome as all that is, as awesome as all the support is, and as eternally grateful as I am to finally be paying most of my bills, making videos, um, uh, it makes me sad you guys have to step up and do that. It makes me sad that we have to rely on donation. It makes me sad YouTube is just so like hopelessly overpopulated thanks to it elevating quantity over quality at every turn and and that the genre that we live in 
Let's Plays is is so absurdly oversaturated that you know our show can't find an audience beyond the one it already has. You know, I, I what I'm trying to say is I wish the ad revenue just paid our way, and all you guys had to do was tune in and watch. And and worse than that, I, I gotta make sure I want to touch on this. Worse than that, it makes me feel like I'm wasting my very very talented friend's time on something that can never progress. You know, the cast and crew of ICWXP and Robot Co-op, they deserve to make money for their hard work and have opportunities open to them. You know, I, I give them as much as I can when I can, but for the most part, they're working for free or not getting paid anything close to what they deserve. And you know, for years, they've been giving me and you their weekends and, and working in usually really uncomfortable conditions and positions, you know? The life of an Agni Wolf media puppeteer is a great way to get a slipped vertebra. <laughs> and there's no health insurance here either, that's that's for damn sure. <laughs> yeah, I am the guy who writes just about everything. I am the guy who does all the pre-production and post-production. I am the guy who gets all the props together and makes sure the puppets are mostly running smoothly. Um, I am the guy who loses all the sleep to get the videos online and in front of your eyeballs. But they work hard too, God bless it when they come in and, and the show does not happen without them. They deserve a shot at paying some of their bills with Agony Wolf Media Bucks too, instead of just getting whatever spare change I can spare whenever I can spare it. It shouldn't be just me that gets to escape having a nine to five. You know, they, they go and work their regular jobs all week and then I come and regularly take away their weekends or, or, or at least half their weekend, you know, to put on a puppet show that gets fewer views than paint drying over grass growing. And, and you know, they know the deal. They know how expensive this shit is and how hard it is on my wallet and my sanity. You know, They, they often turn me down when I offer to pay them because they know how much all this shit costs. And, you know, and, and no one's holding a gun to their head. They do it because they like the project and we have an effing blast working with each other, but it still just makes me feel bad. You know, they deserve more than I'm able to give them. They deserve to be a part of a show that can grow, and they deserve a light at the end of the tunnel after all these years of this guy torturing them. Okay, sit in that uncomfortable floor chair or on that hard concrete for hours and say tongue twisters while you wave this heavy ass puppet around. Oh, and we'll, we'll probably barely get a thousand views. Okay, thanks. If you take away anything from this video, I want you to take away this, that we have a concept for a show that I feel with everything in me is strong enough to really go somewhere. But we can't even get started on the f***ing thing because we have to keep making Let's Plays that take the better part of a month to make. They get almost no views. That fact alone legitimately keeps me up at night. Like, I can't even put into words how crushing it is when I have that thought. It, it feels like someone punches me in the, in the gut. Maybe, maybe I'm landing on a little thick here. Maybe this is a tad too heavy, but I mean, it's not like, like that's a realization that you're wasting your time on earth, dude, <laughs> you know, or at least wasting your, your career, I guess. I, I like, like I wouldn't wish that feeling on anyone. Like that sculpt I'm working on from one of the creatures that just sits there in the corner and I get to touch it maybe once or twice a month for an hour. Like it's, it's just never going to happen if we keep making these things. YouTube not the place to make a show anymore. It's a place to talk about shows. And I don't want to talk about shows. I want to make them. I'm talking about setting our sights higher. I'm talking about Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, platforms like that. Somewhere that production value still matters. Somewhere that could really resonate and, and find our work a wider audience. Somewhere that could open up opportunities and maybe even, God forbid, career paths, you know? I do have some industry contacts and they check in with me every so often because I've, I've, I've laid out the concept for them and, and they ask about it, man. You know, they're like, hey, Rick, where's where's gray colored glasses? You got that proof of concept filmed yet, dude? You know, and I, I, I really think we can pitch it to so-and-so and get a such-and-such -such deal with. And every time I just have to go, nah, man, I got to make these Let's Plays. <laughs> I could just like hear their eyes rolling at me from across the country. They're rolling them so hard. And you know, they go, hey man, I think your stuff is great. It's funny, super professional, but for whatever reason, people can't find it. So people aren't watching it. Uh, 
why are you still doing it? You know, and then I have to explain to them, well, that's our Patreon content. It's it's how I, I keep a roof over my head. It's it's how I keep our production company in business. And then they go, oh, is there any way you can change that? And I'm like, I don't know, maybe let me ask. So that's why we're here today. Guys, point blank, uh, to keep making scripted Let's Plays is fucking insane. <laughs> It's suicide for Agony Wolf Media, and we have to stop. <laughs> and if you're wondering why we don't just switch to doing bot roast videos like we did with Funko Land, yes, it did better, but it did manage to get more than like 3,000 views or so. Sure, that's a bit better, but it's still a hard crash and burn <laughs> on YouTube. And we put even more work into that than usual. And we clickbaited the shit out of the thumbnail and the title. It's just not worth it. 3,000 views is not worth sleepless nights and poor health and neglected loved ones. Not in year 11, man. <laughs> Straight up. So, what happens if enough of you guys say, nah, I'm here because I want tightly scripted Let's Plays out of you. That's maybe how I found you. I don't care about this DVD series you had before or this new show. I'm not the biggest fan of Robot Co-op Live. If you stop doing scripted Let's Plays, I'm out. Well we'll be forced to keep making them. Uh, in, in the here and now, we'll have to cobble together the Mountain Dew knockoff taste test with half the characters we want and kind of just BS our way through it to get a video up in time and we'll probably not be very happy with it. In the there and then, I really don't foresee our YouTube miraculously starting to grow at more than an infinitesimal rate. We'll keep getting maybe one sub a day like we have been. We'll keep spinning our wheels in the mud in a genre that's hyper omega turbo oversaturated until our Patreon dries up and Agony Wolf Media closes its doors. Um, ICW XP 206 never comes out and Grey Colored Glasses never comes out. And then I have to pray I can go find a decent 9 to 5. And here's where things get really personal, man. Uh, this, this is serious cringe territory, probably. I just know I don't want to get into any of this garbage, but this stuff is a major factor since we make so very little here, you know? Uh, Agony Wolf Media's finances are my finances because of that. Um, it's not enough made to split the two up. <laughs> it's not worth doing. Um, Agony Wolf Media, and thusly this guy, um, we live paycheck to paycheck. I generally have a about ten dollars left at the end of the month which really doesn't feel great at my age i gotta say you know that's that's some like early 20s shit i'm officially in my mid-30s that's that that's a little depressing i've never talked about this much here but i'm in a crippling amount of debt guys i i went to a scam college called the art institute of pittsburgh online I even made a video series calling them out that got me on uh, an NBC primetime talk show called Rock Center. You can look it up, um, I think. My, my college is unquestionably criminally owned and unquestionably criminally operated. And the word is out about that. My, my degree from there is worthless. And I'm on the hook to Uncle Sam for my student loans to the tune of like, Last last I like worked up the courage to look at the number, it's it's still hovering around like fifty thousand dollars. It's not fun to look at. Um, as I'm sure most of you are aware, there's no refunds on student loans. If you go give the money you take out in a loan to Crooks, Sally Mae doesn't give a hot shit. You still owe them. You know, everybody's a loan shark in the student debt crisis, man. Um, don't really have any friends. <laughs> Some of my loans I don't have to pay on because I'm technically at the poverty level, but I still have to cough up several hundred dollars a month. And that may not sound like much, but it's a fortune for me and it's brutalizing financially. Like I can't even afford health insurance anymore, man. I just can't. And, and, and once I can't dodge the other loans, we're done. We are done. That'll wreck Agony Wolf Media for good. No question. I won't be able to keep making these videos that take round the clock work. I'll, I'll have to pull the plug on everything and go find a normal nine to five and we won't be making anything at all. I mean, at that point, 
the best I can make is cell phone videos riffing nasty ass fast food on my lunch break at my job at McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. I'd probably get more views than what we do now too. <sighs> but yeah, anyway, we have to move on. We have to make something that can make money. And I think it's clear there's only room for two traditional riffing shows in this world. Uh, you know, we never intended for ICWXP or any of its characters to be more than a, a fun one-off, but we made it. And less than a year later, we were on Riff Tracks' website and we had Mike Nelson's stamp of approval on our new DVD. It made total sense at the time to pursue it and refine it. And, and then, you know, you guys found us and, and kept us going. Anytime we'd be ready to, to call it quits, we, we'd hear an MST3K alumni had something nice to say about us. TV networks and production companies would come, you know, hanging around and try to develop it. And we've just kind of been going along for the ride this whole time. Just trying to make an awesome show. <laughs> trying to make the best show we can within the confines of something that gets started as a tribute to another show. But we're really trapped in a box with it, guys. You know, we, we've tried so hard, and I just don't think it's meant to be. I, I thought totally different, unique characters, a different sense of humor, a different story-driven format, and, and more recently, riffing games instead of movies would buy some goodwill, but nah. <laughs> uh, shit, man, I, I love riffing, you know? And so I just kind of blindly went on autopilot, I pressed on, and I ignored the hate and tried to make something awesome. I, I just hope it's not too late to take the skills we've learned uh, all these years and apply them to something less derivative that we can truly call our own and go all the way with. You know, that we can dive headlong into without worrying about how another show's fan base is going to react to it. God, God, that sounds like, that sounds orgasmic. At the same time, guys, our little puppet show, regardless of what it's been called, Incognito Cinema Warriors XP, Incognito Gaming Warriors XP, Robot Co-op, you've kept it alive over a decade. There aren't a lot of shows that can be said of, especially uh, independent shows, probably none. Probably the only one. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> that's something to be really proud of, seriously. And, and thank you. Thank you for that. Um, we, we've... We've got nine DVD releases, hopefully 10 before long, and, and countless hours of online content on top of that. That's mind blowing, man. Um, anyway, before I go, I also want to make sure to thank you for being here with us in 2018. I know uh, being a fan of Agony Wolf Media often isn't easy. Uh, it can be kind of a roller coaster. We shake the boat a lot, we shift gears a lot because of the view drought we're always in. And then and, and since you're looking at the pre and post production team, we, we can only really be in one mode at a time, you know? God, we started riffing movies on DVD, then we started riffing shorts on DVD, then we tried online movie reviews, game reviews, uh, then we tried riffing video games, then we tried riffing big movie trailers, all got copyright strikes, backtracked a little bit and riffed short films online, uh, then we tried riffing video games out of character as just ourselves. Then we tried roasting weird YouTube videos. You know, you know, it just, you know, maybe we're just not any good at this, and I'm too close to see it. Have fun with that one, trolls. But yeah, I, I know it's frustrating when we get into the rhythm of making something you really like, and, and you know, we have to move on and retool it, or, or just move on from it completely. Just know it's not because we want to. It, it's always a survival thing. You know, if riffing public domain movies on DVD had ever been lucrative enough to keep the lights on, we'd have never started doing anything else. I promise. Like, like we don't like it any more than you do. We just want to find the magic combination that works and stick to it. You know, but on that note, on a note of survival, as a very personal favor to me and all of us here at Agon Wolf Media, Please allow us to go monthly on Patreon so we can focus on finishing ICWXP properly so we can say thank you for over a decade of viewership and at the same time start our new original show. And I feel we I feel that show definitely has a shot at a wider audience, man. Like I, I feel I feel it in my bones, you know? Um if you say you'll stay, thank you from the bottom of my ticker for sticking around. If you say you're out, 
thank you from the bottom of my ticker for everything you gave. Um, if you're thinking uh, of becoming one of our Patreon patrons, we need you now more than ever. And you can pledge as little as a dollar per month and make a massive difference for a tiny little production company in Kansas. Um, remember to click in the upper right-hand corner and give us your answer. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll let you know in a few days what we decide. We love you. We really do. See you guys in a few days.